Instagram's Playboy King, Dan Bilzerian, has a serious reputation for his extravagant lifestyle and controversial actions. Bilzerian has been gaining followers at a rapid pace. He currently has more than 26 million followers on Instagram and adds about 20,000 a day. Many people live vicariously through his photos of celebrity parties, fast cars, and gorgeous companions. But how exactly did this 38-year-old Florida native reach such an enviable status? I'm Mr. Luxury, and today we're exploring how Dan Bilzerian makes and spends his millions. First, let's consider Bilzerian's prized possession, his $250 million Bel Air home. It took a team of 300 people more than four years to renovate this property, and comes fully furnished with every amenity imaginable. It included such luxuries as $3 million worth of luxury cars, a priceless art collection, a four-lane bowling alley, custom glass-built pool tables, foosball tables, and ping-pong tables, and the largest residential television in the world, which is 30 feet wide. And that is just the outdoor TV, which is placed at the end of an infinity pool, looking out over Los Angeles. It has no fewer than 12 bedroom suites, 23 bathrooms, and the 5,600 square foot master suite features a cavernous bedroom, bathroom, and closet. The 1.03 acre lot also includes 40,000 square feet of outdoor patio space. There are also glass tackle ping pong, pool, and foosball tables, along with a massive candy room. The estate also comes with an extensive collection of artwork. Highlights include an oversized metallic sculpture of Liga Camera by Chinese artist Lyle Yabai and framed Rock Royalty custom guitars. And don't forget the home's seven full-time live-in staff, including a chef, chauffeur, and masseuse. So Bilzerian has a palace fit for a king. But how does he fill this massive structure? First of all, his car collection is enough to make the biggest auto fanatic blush. Probably the crown of his collection is a mint condition Lamborghini Aventador, the $393,000 white beast with black rims. On top of this is a 1965 Shelby Cobra. This vintage beauty is worth more than $2 million. And what's a car collection without a Rolls Royce? Dan owns a wide colored Rolls Royce Ghost with a base price of $250,000 in the United States. The stately roller is powered by a 6.6-liter .6 V12 petrol motor, which maxes out at 600 horsepower. It has a top speed of 249 kilometers per hour. He also has a Mercedes-Benz Brabus G63 AMG. This luxury pickup truck was only in the market for two years. In 2015, it was decided to discontinue the model to give it an air of exclusivity. With an eye-watering $1.5 million price tag today, it certainly feels elite. Another highly luxurious car in Dan's garage is the all-black Bentley Flying Spur. The Bentley Flying Spur has a base price of $208,000 in the US. Another car that Dan has been seen using on numerous occasions is his Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6. This absolutely massive SUV costs $975,000. And Dan has plenty of cars that aren't even street legal. He has an $170,000 racing dune buggy. It's one of the fastest dune buggies ever made, and even has a roll cage in case things get out of control. It's powered by a 1,600 horsepower Chevy small block that's been twin turbocharged and runs on E85 fuel. Though it only seats two passengers, this buggy has some serious specs. But what's the use in having one dune buggy if you can't race it? He also bought a 2015 Can-Am Maverick 1000R XTS Turbo that S3 Power Sports claims to have built with parts they either supplied or manufactured themselves. The base price of this two-seater sport UTV is listed at over $16,000, and it boasts a two-cylinder fuel-injected V-twin engine. With four strokes and an SOHC valve configuration with 976 59.5 cc CI displacement. As if the arsenal of cars couldn't get any larger, Bilzerian owns a six-wheeler camo military truck, complete with enough arms to supply a small militia. Even with all these toys with ridiculous price tags, Bilzerian is still happy to find time for something at the cheaper end of the market. Take, for example, his Toyota Land Cruiser. He uses this for his frequent outdoor adventures, diving, off-roading, and hunting. Based on different estimates, Bilzerian's collection is worth more than $4 million. There are much more expensive car collections, but it's important to keep in mind that he actually drives these cars, rather than allowing them to collect dust like many collectors. 
But what about for longer trips? As Dan's followers know, he is constantly shuttling between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. That's where his private jet comes in handy. Specifically, he owns a 1988 Gulfstream 4 private jet. The jet was built in 1987 and was owned for many years by a corporation named ITT. There are only 360 Gulfstreams in the world, as production ceased in 2018. I told my dad I bought this G4. He said, congratulations, son. By your age, I had three. This was Dan's caption on the picture he uploaded to Instagram, showing his family is no stranger to Gulfstream jets. And even on the used market, these jets usually retail for at least $5 million. But when Bilzerian isn't relaxing on the beach or jet-setting around the world, he has another hobby. Anyone who follows his Instagram knows that Bilzerian is a gun fanatic. Nicknamed his office, Bilzerian has a host of semi-automatic and fully automatic machine guns at his personal home. Along with some vintage pistols, this collection is worth just shy of a million dollars. However, Bilzerian's ostentatious relationship with guns almost got him in a lot of trouble in 2015, when his house was broken into and the intruders went straight for the gun room. But security measures were in place and burglars were left empty-handed. Bilzerian later posted a photo of an Uzi, an M16, and a ton of ammunition with the caption, if you're going to break into my house, you should probably bring some guns. Many think that Bilzerian glamorizes his affinity for guns, but this is just a part of his ongoing controversy. People also note that Bilzerian has many weapons that are not available to most citizens. In fact, most are banned in California, where he lives, prompting the question, whose palms did this millionaire need to grease to get these illicit arms? But Bilzerian is not always above the law. The self-described cocaine addict, who tried unsuccessfully to join the Marines, tried to take a gun from a Las Vegas cop using fake police credentials. Larry Barker with KRQE reports that the agency that provided Bilzerian with credentials is a shell agency that doesn't have a real police force, and Bilzerian has allegedly been paying them hundreds of dollars per year in exchange for worthless credentials. Barker's investigation found that the city of Lake Arthur, New Mexico, initially established an all-reserve police force in order to police the town with a population of 430. However, none of the reserve officers had to pass any accredited law enforcement training, and most don't even live in the state. KRQE reports that the town's uncertified police chief, Will Norwood, gave out law enforcement credentials to his friends and celebrities from around the country in exchange for $400 per year in dues. This caused a major media backlash against Bilzerian, but that didn't stop him from maintaining his privileged lifestyle. So it's clear that Bilzerian has expensive tastes, he doesn't hesitate to spend at every occasion on prizes ranging from sports cars to police credentials. But where exactly did this seemingly bottomless pile of cash come from? Officially, he makes his millions as a professional poker player, but for many people, the numbers just don't add up. A Wall Street Journal investigation has revealed that his father, Paul Bilzerian, who now resides at St. Kitts in the West Indies, is a convicted fraudster who has paid only 3.7 of a two-decade-old $62 million judgment against him. Naturally, questions have been raised over how much, if any, of Bilzerian's money comes from his father. He acknowledges benefiting from his trust fund, which kicked in when he was in his 30s, but he asserts that most of his fortune was won at poker. There is little corroboration to his claim, however. Bilzerian wasn't as well known in 2007 when he arrived in a Lake Tahoe casino with a cash-stuffed suitcase looking for a game. He was thus dubbed the Suitcase Guy. Since then, his high-life globe-trotting ways include playing in ultra-high-stakes private games with billionaires, where his poker-playing skills are on display, or so he claims. Bilzerian competed in the 2009 World Series of Poker main event and finished in 180th place winning $36,626, his only recorded live tournament win. From then on, it was cash games only. Poker experts have attempted to poke holes in Bilzerian's story with mixed results. Certainly, it is difficult to prove that he earned his fortune through gambling, but because most of his games are private, it's equally difficult to disprove. Either way, the Florida native is worth well over $150 million. Regardless of the source of his cash flow, it seems like Bilzerian isn't slowing down anytime soon. If you'd like to learn more about the luxurious lifestyle of the rich and famous, make sure to check out my channel in the link at the top of the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. 
As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip to doodly-doo.